guys and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with what's happening here on this channel. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back. Um, I got to send a special shout out to all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for joining the family. Um, it's been a while since I've been back here on this channel, actually about a few months now. So what I'm going to be talking about today is just my lock progress over the past few months or so, I think. And just kind of catching you guys up on what my routine is right now and some of the new products that I'm using um, for my lock maintenance. If that's something you guys would be interested in, please stay tuned. I also like to say that um, some of you guys have been looking for makeup tutorials and I'm going to be coming back soon with some of those. I just recently purchased the uh, Jackie Ina in Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and it is perfection. So I have to do um, a makeup look with that soon. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to jump right into the video so I can get to talking about where I am uh, now with these locks. So um, the first thing I want to talk about is the products that I'm using so some of you guys are new to this channel. You probably came to this channel by way of my lock retwist videos, uh, or lock retwist video, because there's only one out there. But um, I noticed there were a lot of views on that particular video, and I get a lot of comments on that video. Um, I will say that I've still been using pretty much all of the same products. The only thing I have changed is I don't use the same retwist product, and I've also added another one of the products from. Uh, Damien Walters website and I talked a little bit about that over the past few uh, videos but I'll just kind of briefly show you guys um, all of those products I'm still using all the the, 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 the design essential products and I'm using a couple um, of products from his website some of his own creations and those products have worked uh, those products have worked really well for my hair um, and like I said, I'm not still using the same retwist product. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and jump into that and just kind of run back over briefly the products that I'm using right now to maintain my locks. So these are the products that I'm using, uh, the Design Essential products to shampoo my hair. I shampoo my hair probably once a week um, when I go to the gym. I sweat really, really heavily in my hair, so I try to shampoo it as often as I possibly can because it is like dripping wet after each workout so I try to make sure that my hair is clean um, at least once a week I've only been retwisting um, like once every four to five weeks or so just depending on if I have time to do it or not but anyway about products so to shampoo I'm still using the honey cream um, by design essentials and I'm still using the oat protein and henna um, shampoo one of them is a deep cleansing shampoo the other one is a moisturizing shampoo so i shampoo with both of these i just do one shampoo with each and um i also condition after each shampoo process i always condition with this rosemary and mint uh, this rosemary and mint conditioner and this is also by design essentials i only use about a quarter size in my hand still and i just work it through a massager really well sometimes i leave a bag on to let it penetrate a little bit longer but i make sure that i wash it out thoroughly so products that i have um recently added uh to my shampoo regimen um is the lock wash so for my leave-in after i get done shampooing my hair and conditioning it I always add Damien Walters uh, Lock and Curl. So this basically just keeps my hair manageable. It makes my hair, um, I won't say that it makes it feel soft, but it's it's like a leave-in, um, a liquid leave-in that's going to make my hair a little bit more manageable after shampooing. You know how your hair sometimes will get a little bit dry or crunchy, I guess, if you just let it air dry and only put water in it. So I like to have the leave-in and it really helps helps my hair when I'm doing a retwist. And I also put it on even when I'm not going to retwist my hair. So on days after I shampoo and I'm just going to let it be free, I still use the leave-in after my shampoo and conditioning process. But what I've added is the lock wash. So this is another Damien Walter um, product, this lock wash. And I didn't get it at first because when I first started um, growing my locks or uh, when I first got my locks in, <laughs> I was real leery about all the different products that I would use. So I was really careful about putting certain things in my hair. Not to say that it was anything wrong with it. I was just trying to be cautious. But um, lately, and I mentioned this in the last video, my hair has been so dry. Like I didn't even understand, like, why is it so dry? Is there something wrong with my hair? What am I doing wrong? I'm taking vitamins, drinking a lot of water, all those things. And my locks just felt so dry. 
and so I try using rose water to spray like on the daily maintenance sometimes twice a day that still is not helping even with the oil moisturizing you know just on my scalp and sometimes putting some on top of the locks it just still felt so dry so I didn't want to do an apple cider vinegar rinse because I you know assumed that maybe my hair just needed to be cleansed a little bit more thoroughly didn't want to do apple cider vinegar rinse and I really kind of got that from just following Damien Walter and if you guys don't follow him or, or have not heard of him just check him out on YouTube you know some people have a love-hate relationship with him but you know he has satisfied satisfied clients and you know the results are always great with people who go and see him I won't say every person I can't speak for every person but you know I just I really like um, the education you get from his channel on locks and how to maintain them and different things like that so anyway um, because I was leery of the apple cider vinegar, also from hearing him say it, and, and I didn't want to put anything harsh in my hair, I just decided to go ahead and try his, you know, detox um, product or whatever. So he uses this in, in the place of, say, doing an apple cider vinegar rinse or whatever, but also giving you the same, um, you know, sort of like deep cleansing, I guess, to like really rid your hair of like sweat and... and I won't even really just say build up maybe. I guess it's I guess it's still build up if it's sweat or whatever it is that you know kind of cakes up in your hair over time. But um anyway, this product it says it breaks down sweat and unwanted oils for a healthy cleanse during the locking process. And I would just say that I've only used it once, but this has been my lock savior because after I used it, like I rinsed it through my hair and I realized almost instantly that my hair felt softer. And so my curl pattern and my roots and stuff was showing up again. I'm like, I ain't seen the curl pattern since my hair was loose natural. And um, I was just amazed. So, you know, if you are experiencing a lot of uh, dryness with your locks, maybe you need to detox them, but you want to use something that's not harsh on your hair. It wasn't harsh when I used this product. I will say this is not something that you want to get in your eyes. It kind of had like... Um, I don't know what the smell was. I don't want to say it was alcohol. It might have been. This kind of smelled like alcohol. Um, and no, I did not go through and, and give all the ingredient details and all of that. Guys, look on the website <laughs> and check it out. Because I know somebody might come back and say, hey, his products are harsh. Or this product may be harsh if it has alcohol in it. Or whatever. But I would just say it worked for my hair. And as soon as I rinsed it through my hair, I felt my hair my locks were softer um, like I said I could see my, my curl pattern peeking back through and then the test for me was dry hair like I don't care what I put on my hair it may feel soft in the process but after my hair dries that's always the test for me if a product is really moisturizing my hair or if a product is really helping my hair so this is not a moisturizer but what I'm trying to say is I wanted to see the effects of my locks after going through the whole process so it made the difference in my uh, shampoo uh, process this time. So I just rinsed that through before I did my shampoos and my conditioner. I did do the deep conditioning and then I put the bag on my hair and I let that stay on, um, you know, for a little while. I rinsed it out. I retwisted and um, my hair was just, I mean, like it's even more, it just feels more bouncy, you know, right now. Um, after using it just after going through the process and, and using that one product so it was like my hair needed to be refreshed or whatever and it really really worked so maybe you guys want to check that product out on his website um, they're not super expensive products but anyway I recommend it so that moves me on to my retwisting product I was using a product from lockmamas.com and the product that I was using to retwist my hair I think it was called everything gel and it was very lightweight, um, had a really natural feel to it, very natural texture, whatever, like slippery on the fingers. And, you know, it just kind of really laid in, into the hair. But my retwists were not lasting very long. And um, I'm not saying that I would never use that product again. But after uh, going through a lot of minutia trying to get the product to me, like I would put the order in and have to wait. They, they will respond and then the order will be canceled some sort of way. Then they call back and say, do you still want it? So it was just a lot of stuff going on with that. And I really just got tired of dealing with that. But anyway, um, per recommendation of a couple people on um, Instagram and YouTube that I follow who have locks, they recommended the uh, Joy, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Joy Naturals, My Joy, I mean, 
it's not my joy. Joy Natural is my jail. And um, anyway, I purchased this from Amazon. Um, and this is probably my second or third time retwisting my hair with this product. It has like a jelly-like consistency. It's solid. It's very different from the product that I was using. But um, I would say that it's to me, it's just this water-soluble, I guess. When I put it on my hair uh, wet, it kind of... It'll like foam up so that lets me know it'll rinse out easily so I haven't had any build up, no issues with it. It's very lightweight but it almost feels like, um, I want to say like jam, not not like jam. I guess the, the closest thing I can give the texture to is um, jam if y'all know what jam is. But anyway, um, great product. Um, it really stretches, lengthens my uh, hair in terms of when I retwist it doesn't draw back up as much. Um, it's been really good in terms of being lightweight. I don't feel like I have any residue like when I sweat and different things like that from it sitting on top of my hair. My retwist lasts longer and um, like I said it washes out just fine. No build up. No issues with it. So I really really enjoy that product. So that's another one I would recommend. And um, it's been about I'm almost 15 months locked now. And I know someone was asking me, was I going to do a 12 month update and it's kind of pointless now. So I'll just, this is my 12 to 15 month uh, lock update. Um, I've, been engine, uh, I've been enjoying my family and doing some other things over the summer. So I've not been in as frequently. And plus, um, again, I've just been, you know, um, enjoying my lock journey. I don't retwist a whole lot and there hasn't been like major significant changes with my hair other than the fact that it's growing and I know y'all see all of this hang time I have going on here or whatever but I'm still thoroughly enjoying my lock journey um I feel like I would not I I just don't know why I didn't do it sooner so I'm still really enjoying it and um I recommend locks to anybody who's naturally thinking about it <laughs> go for it it's awesome I'm carefree um I can go work out, get sweaty, get wet, whatever, shampoo, start over, and I'm still good to go. I'm not trying to figure out what to do with my hair every day of the week, and I love, love, love that. One last thing before I go, I will say um, the one thing I did do different after month 12, I uh, trimmed the ends. So I still have some color on the ends of my locks, and it's going to be there for a little while, but a lot of it I trimmed. Um, I trained it just because they, they were just getting raggedy. So like when I would retwist my hair, I feel like all kinds of little strings and stuff hanging on the end. And so one day I was just like, it's locked up now. You know, let me go ahead and just clip them just to give, you know, a little bit more neat of an appearance or whatever. I probably won't be doing that for a long, long time. I really just kind of as needed. And it looked, uh, it looked really nice after I did it. And, and it's kind of held up well. And I did that on my own. I just had some, you know, some really good scissors and... I just went and clipped like the very uh, end. They still kind of, you know, it grows back and, and does that or whatever. But they just kind of look bad. So I wanted to uh, take care of that. But anyway, that's all I have for my update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'll be back very, very soon with the makeup tutorial. I hope I was not just rambling, rambling. But I just wanted to get this video up for you guys. And like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. And now I'm going to swing around and show y'all my locks. Now, I'm thirsty for a ponytail, but it's on the way. So this is what I'm looking like after a fresh retwist now. And I know this video is kind of dark because the sun is going down and stuff and all of that, but yes. Hope y'all can see it or see them. See where I am. And that is it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.